Hello, welcome to Lo-Fi and DIY. Today, I want to introduce you to uh, one of my uh, instant backs that uh, I have as a conversion kit for the Polaroid 110, 110A, 110B, and 120 uh, roll film cameras, the original professional grade uh, Polaroid cameras. This is what it looks like attached. I'll just kind of spin it around here. This right here is a Polaroid 110A. And uh, you will note that with all of my uh, conversion kits, um, they're non-destructive. I do not cut into them. Don't make any major alterations. Just simply remove the hinge pins on the back and install my back. Okay, the back is in black and white. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that the black and white is because I actually uh, create a prototype version. And I just call this my Panda version. This is the black and white version. And uh, let's see here. This right here is where AAA batteries go. I prefer AAA batteries because AA or AAA, actually, just standard batteries, because if you actually have standard batteries instead of something that you have to plug in, then if you go on that next trip and want to take pictures, it's really no problem finding uh, batteries and keeping it charged enough to take the pictures. My experience has always been with my uh, rechargeable instant cameras, like the, uh, the One Step 2, um, is that the the batteries will run out of charge and I'll still have a half pack left and, and it's frustrating and I wanted to keep taking the pictures and then you just simply have to plug it in and have it trickle charge up to a charge well enough for you to actually take the shots. So I do always go with some sort of a standard battery. Okay, when you're opening the back of this, you just pull this down and open it right up. That's the actual, where you put the Instax cartridge would go right in there. Okay. When you close it, you just pull this down and it's closed. Okay. And other than that, it's very, very simple and very easy to use. Um, let's see here. Just... We'll go ahead and we'll eject uh, film to see how how simple it is. So you just slide it right in there, and again, you just close it right up like that. Okay. Um, you'll notice that there's room, plenty of room for the viewfinder windows to be seen. Okay. Uh, so either A or B version, and uh, the and uh, the 120 easily you can use this. So the viewfinder is very easy to see. Now there's an eject button right here. See right there? It is a momentary switch, and what that means is you just simply hold it down, and you watch the film come out. And when you hear that little release, that's when it's time to just let go. So if you go ahead, and I'll show you again, You'll, you can hear the noise of the uh, motor loading and unloading. It's just really, really simple. The reason I go with a momentary switch is because the idea for this, uh, for this camera back, for all of my camera backs, is simplicity equals longevity. If you don't have a bunch of switches and everything, then you won't have that accidentally ejecting an entire pack of film or all those other crises that can happen with the fully automatic type. So this is just simply a momentary switch, very simple, uh, no, ma no major parts to break, just a very, very simple thing. Okay, and you can kind of see it from the top. Okay, one thing about this, where this kind of stands out, I think it stands out, is uh, the other option for Instax Wide in my line is to use a four by five back and then just simply put the Loma graph lock with it 
I did a video on that earlier. Um, this particular back is significantly thinner. If you look at that, it's significantly thinner than the one that actually has the Instax um, Loma Graph Lock on the back. And I will go ahead and compare it here. Just a second. Let me get my hands on both of these. They're kind of big cameras. But hopefully you can see that the one is much, much thinner than the other. See how thick that is? It sticks way out. The, other, the one that I made is thinner. And I just wanted to point that out. It's thinner and a lot easier to use. Um, I'm not knocking the Loma Graph Lock setup, but basically the Loma Graph Lock setup is quite large. Okay. Well, thank you for your time.